hello service now experts so today in this video i will be explaining like how can we trigger sms to your phone numbers using service com and we will also learn a new uh, third party application called tulio by using that we will be triggering sms from service now to any particular mobile phones okay so before getting started we have to install a plugin called uh, tulio so the, you can see this tulio spoke is available you can install this spoke and so that we can use utilize in our integration hub but this is a paid plugin this is not a free and i will also at the end i will also explain how can you do the same thing in the workflow okay instead of the integration hub so both the things i will be explaining so let's jump to the tulio application directly so this is one tulio console which got created so how can you create this one or dummy one you can search your tulio in the google and the first uh, Tulio communication API or SMS, you can click on this. So this Tulio is nothing but like trigger SMS. It will help you trigger SMS via uh, mobile numbers like, or you can send WhatsApp messages or anything it will allow you to do. So it is nothing but it will give you a API. Okay, that API will can be called from the service now. So whenever a trigger will happen in service now, service now will call the Tulio API with the message required body and the same SMS will go to the any uh, telecommunication or any telecom platform whatever they have built inside the tel uh, Twilio so they will send the SMS to the number whatever will be provided by us so here you can uh, get a free uh, you can uh, like it's actually enterprise uh, if you are having an enterprise account then only you can use Twilio but in case you are a developer or a student also you can try for a free for which it will give you $15 of free SMS uh, we can trigger couple minimum number of uh, SMS we can trigger okay. so here you can sign up once you will sign up it will ask you to verify your mobile number and email addresses once it will be verified it will look like this okay so here you can see my trial it is showing 14.2276 because I have uh, triggered two SMS that's why it is uh, reduced so earlier whenever you log in at first time it will be $15 and the most important thing is here these three things okay so this is one phone number which will get generated so on the first screen itself whenever you will uh, the first time you will open the console uh, to your console that time it will ask there is a blue color button will be appearing uh, to get your number you have to click on that button once you will click this number will automatically generated by Twilio for you okay and this is SID and the token which will also get generated automatically so you can keep uh, so these two things is required for us to establish a connection between Twilio and service now okay so now we are uh, the Twilio configuration is done in uh, uh, Twilio console now we'll go to the service now so if once you will install this spoke will go to the flow designer directly okay so this is a flow designer i have created a subflow okay which will accept a incident uh, incident and in the send sms if uh, i'll be sending one sms okay how i use this send sms we'll click on this once we'll activate the twilio plugin then you can search here twilio okay you can see here here at the end there is a uh, SMS like send SMS action is there you can utilize this apart from that lots of other feature also there you can use you can uh, get a call you can hang up a call lots of things uh, you can do so we can try each and every part you can let me know wherever you are struggling but I will be demonstrating today like send SMS one so I have clicked this one and I have filled all the value here so this number is nothing but the Tulio console whatever it was showing and the another number it was saying it is my personal number so whenever you will be adding any number make sure you are adding the country code before that plus nine one it's a indian country code otherwise it will never trigger okay never add any hyphen or special characters so once you will add this one then you can configure a text message what you want to uh, send so here i have configured a simple message the incident number has been submitted by you okay so this is a basic configuration basic configuration message i have configured so this incident number is nothing but a dynamic number whatever data i will be receiving here i will be extracting the number and i will be sending it uh, from this through this message okay 
and I'll click done. So before clear testing this one, we have to first configure the credentials. Okay. So you can uh, search for the credential connection and credential. Connection and credential. This one. Uh, once you open this, here you can search is Tulio. You will get one Tulio base. Okay. You have to click on this. Once you will click, this section will be empty for you. What you have to do? You have to click on new. Once you will click on new. You have to fill all the values over here, like how I have filled here. Okay, so this account SSID is nothing but uh, this ID. Okay, and once you will fill this, and this value we can give as hundred, and this is the base URL you have to provide, and this is the credential. So credential will be empty for you. What you have to do? You have to click on. You have to create a credential. You have to click on this magnifying glass, and the new button will be appear. If I will click this. Okay, you can see a new button is appearing. Okay, click on this new button and create your own credential. So this credential will look like this. So in the username, you have to pass that SID. Okay, in and you you can copy this auth token which can be passed in the password, and you have to save it. Once you will save this, and this one will get saved. And uh, okay, now our connection is done. As it is established, now we are good to use the integration hub. Now I will come here. This is the SMS I have added. I will I have added this one, so I hope I will receive this SMS. Let me click on done. Let me click on test. Okay, I will pick any incident five zero six. I'll run test. So for demo purpose only I have created this, but you can make it more dynamic. Like you can configure any user's mobile number field will be there in the CC user table. You can configure the mobile number. You can pick it from there. You can. send sms you can configure something like whenever a p1 incident you will get raised we have to notify through the sms so that kind of configuration also you can do let me click on this oh yes i have already received the notification on my phone i'll try to add that screenshot at the end of the video i hope i'll be able to add as i am not pro in the editing and all but still i'll try to add that so here you can see this is completed and i have already received the notification on my phone this is all about like how we can configure through integration hub okay if you don't want to use the integration hub if you want to use the workflow the legacy methodology for that you have to install a plugin called notify okay i'll search your notify i think it should be installed okay you can see this is a install so once this plugin will be installed this is another plugin you have to install notify to illo direct uh, direct drive okay once these two things will be installed then you can search here notify okay once you'll search for notify you can see this is the module which will get created and if i'll click on numbers so this number is nothing but it will automatically picked how it will be automatically picked you can see below there is one thing twilio direct direct configuration if i click on this one okay so here i have passed the ssid and token so once we'll pass the ssid and token once we'll click on save this number will create automatically through the api okay once the number will get generated you can test your callbacks you can click on this test callback call or sms anything you can add your mobile number here make sure you are adding the country code then you can add your mobile number like this and you can add some messages and you can click on this one initiate test sms okay, so once you will click on this you will receive a sms or call based on your selection then you will you can make sure like okay your twilio uh, twilio is working perfectly fine so once you will configure this automatically this table will get created this record okay you can see here no new button is there so once it will created it will not allow you to modify the number and the number owner those things but it will allow you to modify the label and notify groups okay what is this notify group if i'll come below this one number groups so here you can see this has we can create your own groups and uh, which will have your own workflow and own activities you can create those things and once you will create this and make sure you have added this one Uh, this notify group if you will not add also then what will happen i'll tell you in the workflow section okay 
so once you will add this and this everything is configured then you can go to the workflow okay in the workflow i have created a uh, dummy workflow called send sms and here in the core section if you will see one notify is uh, is available here one notify activities okay so under that call and sms two thing is available so let me bring this one so once it will be okay once it will be available here you can see you can select the from so here that time i mentioned right this is nothing but the number it is notifying uh, phone number so maximum time you will see you will not see any record over here if you are not seeing any record even if you are having a record over here then uh, there is a direct chance like you might have missed this part notify group unless and until you are adding any notify group that reference field will always come as empty you can click pick this one okay what i meant okay you can click this one and you can add to this make sure whoever is getting added that id phone number or field should be available okay and here you can add the sms you can click on this plus icon you can bring any field and you can add create a own sms it will be dynamic sms and you can click on submit and in the moment you will click on submit and you can publish this then your workflow is ready to use so this is how you can configure the twilio even if twilio is uh, uh, like it will help you to send notification over whatsapp also that configuration it is allowing you can utilize that so i have already trigger one notification if i will refresh this screen the trial amount should be less i guess now might have reduced let's see taking time let me refresh this is the documentation page of twilio we can refer this one so i have referred this one this is the base url from which i have picked it and yeah, i may forget to mention one more thing so in the base url this value like this is a version you can see so this will get populate automatically you know not keep no need to populate this one no need to change this one it will populate automatically never change this one in the connection section okay now i'll come here you can see it has already been reduced 14.1 for earlier it was 14.233 something what like so each sms will cost you around some zero point some dollars so yeah you will have a limited uh, uses so you can try this out you can let me know if you are facing any challenges I hope it might have helpful for you. Thanks for watching.